All right, today we're going to be covering a feature released in Elementor 327 that I think it's extremely important, and that is loading Google fonts locally. And might sound like it's nothing, but it's extremely important for GDPR, security reasons, and performance of your website. But security is a big thing here, where if you don't comply with GDPR rules and laws, you can get in big trouble with uh, the law here. I think this is extremely important and I am going to cover it, of course. And before this was released, we were able to use a plugin. I will show you my screen where I'm using it on a website where this plugin would take the, the or let you choose the fonts that you're using from Google to have them loaded locally. But now we don't need that plugin anymore. We can do this from Elementor. So let's get in and let's have a look. All right. So I'm in the back end of one of the websites that I built at the beginning of my web design career, almost three years ago, I think by now. And if you scroll down here, you will see that I have a plugin that is called OMGF and increases the GDPR, the SGVO compliance and leverages browser cache by automatically self-hosting Google fonts, self-hosting, basically loading them locally as the future that Elementor has released now will do. So if I go to settings, yeah. Um, and if you scroll down, you see that all these fonts that I'm using, for example, Montserrat, Poppins and Roboto are being used for on the, the website. Yeah. So what fonts do I want to use? Basically this one and this one. So these ones that I'm actually using on the website are being loaded locally. And now we don't need this plugin anymore to, to, to achieve this goal. So one plugin less makes a WordPress website dance. I don't know. Does it even rhyme? <laughs> so let's see now where you can activate this from. So go to Elementor, go to settings and go all the way to features. And you will see that you have the option to turn on the load Google fonts locally feature and you just go to activate it. I already have it activated. Yeah. And save changes. And that's it. As easy as pie. Make sure though, let me just go back to plugins. Make sure that you have uh, your Elementor, Elementor and Elementor Pro both updated to the latest version. I don't know why that is not updated, but yeah, anyway, it works. So if you don't see it, make sure that you check whether your Elementor is updated. Yeah. So now it's all up to date. As you can see, I have version 327.1 and 327.2 here. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I think this is such a good thing that they did this. They are really taking seriously the GDPR and they're also focusing a lot on accessibility this year. And this is giving me so much hope that Elementor is going to still be market leader. These are very important things that they need to focus on. Uh, all the page builders actually. It's not all about beautiful pixels and so on and so forth, because there are many changes coming this year in terms of accessibility. There's the accessibility act and yeah, Google phones don't, don't necessarily have anything to do with this, but they are working on other things. And I will talk about this in future videos, but yeah, this is one of those features that are or seem to be understated, but are actually super, super important. So I wanted to bring this to your attention. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.